Hi, I'm Melissa. Welcome to my channel. I've wanted to start a YouTube channel for years now, but I kept putting it off. And I recently bought a Tory Burch bag, and I thought it was a good way to kind of jump in and do my first video with a bag review and kind of what fits in the bag. And I thought it might help some of you who are also interested in purchasing the bag. So let's jump right in. So the bag is the Tory Burch Sadie Velvet Bag. I got it from Bloomingdale's, and it came just like this in a box. <laughs> and I haven't used it yet. It still has the tags attached, and it looks like this. It's so pretty. Um, I thought it was a little like too girly when I first saw it online, but then I saw it in store, and I thought it was so pretty. It, like um, the pink is a bit more muted in person, and it's kind of that millennial pink, but um, has a bit of a '90s vibe to it. Uh, my brother said it was kind of like clueless looking, which I loved. It's just like a shoulder bag, and it's a small bag, but it still can hold um, quite a lot. Like, it'll fit the Tory Burch Continental Wallet inside of it, and it just sits about, like, at your hip waist area when you hold it, and it's really comfortable to hold, and I like that the top has um, leather instead of the metal hardware, so that when it sits on your shoulder, it's a lot more comfortable. I think it's really classy, but trendy at the same time. It's so soft. I love the color hardware. Gold hardware, it's just so pretty. And this is what the bag looks like from the side. It's a bit of an accordion style. And I'll show you inside. So it's a magnetic closure. When you open it up, it's that same blush pink, but it's leather. And then it has two compartments um, with a divider in the middle. And there's a brighter pink fabric in the inside, if you can see that. And there's a zip pocket in the back for any like cards or things you don't want falling out of your bag. And the divider goes all the way down to the bottom so things aren't going to be like sliding between the pocket. And the magnetic closure closes really easily. So yeah. So I really like everything about this bag. The back is just plain, that plain velvet. Let me show you what fits in the bag. So hold on, I have to get my wallet. So I have the Tory Burch Safiano Leather Continental Wallet in this tan color and I've had it for I would say about five years. So if you're looking to get a Tory Burch product that does last a really long time, get something in the Safiano Leather because you can just wipe it clean and it still looks great. It won't show any scratches. The only thing that has broken is the little um, thing that attaches to the zipper to pull it, but I don't close my wallet anyway with the zipper so it's fine. So this fits right into the bag. So I would put it in this back pocket and it fits like right in easily. So if you do have the um, Continental Wallet, um, know that it will fit into the bag easily and it's not gonna like puff out or anything when it's closed. I also wanted to see what else I can fit in the bag. <laughs> so I have the iPhone 6 Plus. So that easily fits in the fr my front pocket here. And then um, I had a, some um, Aviator Ray-Bans, but they didn't fit in with the case. Like the bag wouldn't close. So if you want, you can take out your sunglasses and slide them into the front pouch and they will fit if you're okay with taking them out of the case. And then I also had some gum, which does fit all easily into the pouches. I also tried putting like a hair clip in because I always carry that with me, but it doesn't really close that easily if you, okay, it doesn't really close at all. So no hair clip, it fits easily with the wallet again and phone, glasses, and any little things you need like lipstick, gum, whatever. So yeah, that does snap closed and then it just, it holds its shape really well. So this bag is going to hold its shape, I think. The straps aren't removable, so you can't use it as a clutch, but um, you can just like tuck the strap behind and carry it this way if you really wanted to. Like, I think it still looks cute either way you hold it. It's just really pretty, and the pink, again, is really like pastel and muted, and it's not like in your face and like crazily girly. It also just came with the standard Tory Burch dust bag. Looks like this. If you're wanting to buy this bag, I would recommend buying it from Bloomingdale's because they always have like 15% off, 20% off, and 25% off. I got this bag for 25% off, and they're always having sales. So if you're wanting something from Tory Burch or like any mid-range designer, um, I would check Bloomingdale's for it first. 
because this bag was $4.28, but I got it for 25% off, which was a great amount of savings, and you can't normally get Tory Burch bags at a discount unless you go to, like, their outlet. Or, well, I first saw it online, and then I saw it in Nordstrom, and I really liked it, and I was like, oh, I don't want to spend, you know, that much on it, but when I saw the 25% off at Bloomingdale's, I was like, Yes. I also want to get some kind of spray protectant for this bag, but I'm not really sure what. <laughs> so I was maybe going to like try and look around online. But if anybody knows of a good protectant, please leave it down below. Yeah, I'm so happy about this bag. If you're thinking about getting it, I would recommend it. It's really pretty. I mean, I haven't used it <laughs> yet. I think it's a comfortable bag. I think it does hold quite a bit for a small like shoulder bag. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. So if you like this video, please subscribe because this is my first one and come back for more fashion types of videos, haul videos, if you're into that kind of thing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.